Hi hey folks, David Creative Craft House to show you a couple interesting items. Recently we've been getting into encryption or cipher wheels or coding devices. Uh, we just released the Confederate cipher wheel, the Union cipher wheel, and the Mexican Army cipher wheel. And, and this is a design of our own and I think it's uh, pretty cool. It looks good and it's really effective in encoding uh, a message that can be uh, quite, quite well encrypted. Uh, we call it the Enigma 2 and uh, what we've got here are just two different sizes. Okay, a bigger one and a smaller one. Uh, they both functionally are the same thing. They both use have these three gears, um, and the gears are uh, made from wood. They're laser cut, very precise, and the and the letters are deeply laser engraved, not ink, so they're not coming out. And the quarter inch wood makes it uh, quite strong and durable. Uh, they're sitting on these alloy steel pins, which are uh, press fit into the board. The base of the big one is sapili wood, a very fine uh, wood, kind of a mahogany feel, nicely finished. And the uh, base of the smaller one is wood uh, that originates in New Zealand, often used in guitars. It's called kauri or agathis. Uh, it has a nice feel and look to it. The wheels will vary, but they'll either be maple or alder because they laser particularly well. Okay, how do these things work? Um, uh, pretty cool. We. I have a good instruction sheet, and I also provide essentially some puzzles, things for you to try to try to decrypt. But this is a, really a tool for creating your own encryption. Um, uh, what we've got here are um, the three wheels, uh, which come off and are interchangeable, and that's important in establishing the key and the complexity uh, complexity capability of the design. And it, there's a little uh, arrow that's uh, laser engraved in, in, uh, for each of the wheels, two on top, and this one's on the side. This is the output wheel, uh, the English text wheel. Um, these two are the encoded wheels. They'll give you the encoded letter. This always gives you the English text uh, output wheel. How does this thing work? Well, the first thing we've got to do is, is set up the wheels. And of course, that's, you want that to be a closely guarded secret, uh, especially if your your opponent uh, or may have one of the machines, which at this point is unlikely, but uh, you never know. Right? Um, so we, we first need to define the wheel order. Now you notice these gears are different. Um, this one has five spokes or five holes. This one has six spokes, and this one has seven spokes. So we've, we've got to define uh, the wheel order. And let's, let's say we keep it like this, and we, we'd call this 765. The next thing we've got to do is um, position the wheels in a unique uh, in a relationship uh, based on a keyword. And let's use it, you know, we need a three-letter keyword, or three letters. Uh, we'll use the word dog to make it easy. And the D here is pointed on the first gear, so that's all set up. I've got to get the O on the second gear. Do this. Let me put it down. It's hard to do one hand. All right, I've got the D and the O, and now I've got to get a G over here on the third. Every uh, different keyword creates a totally different interrelationship of the wheel, and will and, and, and result in a totally different encryption. All right, so now my wheels are set up and ready to encode. The person receiving the code would have to know the wheel order and the uh, keyword. Uh, so let's suppose I want to. Um, here's my. Here's what I'm trying to encrypt here. Let's say uh, I've set up my wheels as seven six five with keyword dog, and I want to encrypt uh, this message attack at dawn. Well, to do that, I would go to the output wheel and send it at my first letter A, and I come over to the first wheel to get the the, the first encrypted letter, which is a J, and. I can't write upside down too good, so this may not work out. <laughs> All right, so that becomes a J. The A becomes a J. For the T, I come over to the output wheel. I set it at T, and I alternate wheels. So the T becomes an A. The next letter is a T, so I'm already there. But a bot, I go back to the first wheel, and the, this T becomes a Q. Okay. Now I go back to A here, attack and I'm on the fourth, or one, two, three, fourth wheel, and that A becomes a U. Now I repeat this process in encoding my uh, message. I would tell you that normally en en encrypted messages are done in blocks of four or five letters rather than word length. 
So typically I would leave a space, I would divide this message into groups of let's say four. I would leave a space here when I went to encode the C. So, and it also helps me in knowing uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, keeping track of which wheel I'm on. You can get very fast at encoding these messages with this thing. All right, so if I were continuing the C, for instance, um, would become an H, and I would put a space in here, and so forth. The C becomes an H, and then I do the K, then the A, then the T, and so forth. And I'd end up with a complete message. Message can be a, of any length. Now, it's a, it's a substitution kind of encryption, as, as most are. It's a, it's a kind of a double uh, embedded sub, uh, substitution. But you can make it much more powerful, which is typically uh, what is done in cipher devices by uh, varying the keyword. But in this case, you can even vary the uh, wheel order, which is really nice. You can do that via a number of means. You could pre-communicate with the person receiving your message that every 20 letters, uh, we're going to change the keyword from cat to dog, and then every 20, every 20 letters a new keyword, cat to dog to fox, and then maybe repeat back to cat, dog, and fox every 20 letters. Uh, or you might say we're going to change the wheel order every 20 letters um, and predefine what that wheel order might be. 765 might go to move everything to the right one. Might go to 657, might go to 765, or, or, or 567, 576. <laughs> Excuse me. And, and one of the cool things about this, I think, uh, is that uh, given that uh, people would not be necessarily have one of these things, this is unique to us, you could even embed the wheel order and the key right into the message, and no one's going to know what that is, and they may think it's part of the message. In other words, you could start your message with 765 dog, there it gives, there's your key and keyword, and continue on your message, and at any point within the message, that you, any point that you wanted to put a new key in, you could redefine it, it's 657 cat somewhere in the mess, and that would tell the person receiving, okay, I've got to go 657, reset the wheels, um, and have a, then I'd have a totally new in encryption process. So you can see it can be quite powerful and easy to use. Um, to decode, uh, I would need to know the wheel order, okay, it's still at 765, and I would just go in reverse. Uh, I would start with this wheel, because it's an encoded, I would come to the J, Oh, if I'm, I'm not sure I'm still in dog. D O yeah yeah. Uh, I would come to the J, set it up at the arrow, and read the first English text letter A. Then I would go to this wheel and do the, and do the next encoded letter, which is an A. Come over here and read a T. Then I would come to the Q in this wheel and read it's already there and read another T, and so forth, and quickly decode my message. All right. There's about 4,000, a little more than 4,000 uh, keys possible when you look at the wheel order and the uh, 26 times 26, essentially times six possible wheel orders. All right, so really quite powerful. Uh, at some point, not the two, not too distant future, I'll come and come out with an Enigma three, um, which will I'll either use both sides of the wheels with, with different wheel, uh, different letter orders. Each wheel has a different letter order now or I may make a, a longer peg and have six wheels. And when you do that, the uh, number of keys goes to 30, a oh, little over 32,000, the same as the, uh, the original German Enigma uh, machine. So in this process could repeat, be repeated with more gears, more combinations, um, uh, to, to, to be made into something that's just incredibly powerful, yet extremely simple to, and effective to use. And, and I think it has some, some beauty to, to it. So I hope this is something uh, that, that you might enjoy, you Cypher fans. And as I said, we will include eight different uh, puzzles for you to try to en encrypt for you puzzle fans. All right. Thanks very much. This is Dave at Creative Craft House. And these are made here in our uh, Florida shop. All right. Uh, Hudson, Florida shop. Thank you.